Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken and beat Head pulled down over your eyes Every part of you wants to surrender Darling, you were meant to survive Would all the men who knew Joe rise? Everyone else, please remain seated. <laughs> My name is Reverend Max Tuen. <laughs> Zach and Maddie are my best friends, and after eight years as the world's most consistent third wheel, I am honored <laughs> to be standing here with them today. I bet you guys didn't think I would be third wheeling you on the altar. <laughs> I'd like to share today is the story of how we all met, of why it is so special that we are gathered here today, and how Maddie asking Zach if they could fake date, led to this point. In life sometimes, with the benefit of hindsight, you're able to recognize how you met someone at just the right time. And I can't think of a clearer example of this than Zach and Maddie. Look no further than the fact that either of them wound up at Fort Lewis to begin with. And so nine years ago, Zach, Maddie, and I arrived here at Fort Lewis. Right across Rim Drive from the chapel, is West Hall, the dorm where Zach and Maddie lived and where we all shared some of our first memories here in Durango. I didn't get my paperwork in in time, so I lived in Escalante, otherwise known as Sketchalante, <laughs> uh, the far inferior dorm alternative. <laughs> now, it would be hard to tell their story without mentioning cycling. At the end of the day, bikes are a big part of what brought, brought any of us here in the first place. And so, as freshmen, we were all on the track team. And now I'm not sure if Maddie just has a thing for guys with shaved legs or if Zach likes a woman with a farmer's tan, but they had chemistry right away. Chemistry as in freshman chem 151. <laughs> Zach is a nerd, and if I recall correctly, Maddie needed quite a bit of help. <laughs> but in all seriousness, so began our freshman year. And I don't think any of us would have guessed that a short five years later, Zach would propose to Maddie on that bench right out there. You know, back then we were inseparable. And over the course of that year, the three of us became friends. And in Zach's case, that meant plunging deeper and deeper into the friend zone. <laughs> A friend zoning that culminated with Maddie texting Zach during the summer between freshman and sophomore year to ask if they could fake date because Maddie didn't want an ex-boyfriend to make a move. <laughs> and it was towards the end of the evening when Zach, always a romantic, pulled Maddie aside to say he would be okay with real dating. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie being Maddie told Zach it would never work, <laughs> too concerned it would ruin their friendship. 
and a week later they were dating. <laughs> a week after that they were broken up. And it was at this point Zach told Maddie he knew they weren't done. Zach, in about five minutes you'll get to tell Maddie I told you so. <laughs> now, a lot has happened in the eight years since, and as we stand here, I am so proud of my two best friends. You know, they were both pretty great to begin with, but time and time again, I'm amazed at how they've seized opportunities, how they've been there for one another through the good times and the bad times, and how they've supported each other through the twists and turns of growing up together. The Zach and Maddie standing up here today are simultaneously so different while still being exactly as they were all those years ago. They have done so much, discovered passions, built the foundations of their lives while remaining true to who they are as individuals and building this beautiful life and partnership together. And to this day, I smile ear to ear every time I walk down Third Avenue with Zach and Maddie as they giggle their way down the sidewalk like they started dating last week. I don't know anyone who gets as pumped up by a pretty sunset or watching birds at the bird feeder as these two do. <laughs> You've grown into remarkable people while not losing any of the love for life and the little things that you had when we first met. Standing here today at this chapel, at the intersection of not just where it all began, not just where you were engaged, but where you've shared so many memories over the years, I'm so excited for your life together. We are the witnesses to the commitment Zach and Maddie are making to each other today. And I feel it's our collective responsibility as their clan to support and back up the vows of their marriage. So again, I thank you for coming and being important to Zach and Maddie's journey together. So what I'm going to read to you was mostly written in the middle of the night. The thoughts of you two were too big for sleep and woke me up. You both have that effect. You're both grand and unstoppable. Maddie and Zach look around you at your family born to you and chosen too. We can only wonder where your magnificent journey will take you. Sometimes at weddings we remind the new couple of this or that. But here today we have nothing to remind you of because together you have absolutely everything. Celebrate having each other and being fearless and miraculous. Go boldly as we know you will. Go to the 14ers and the trails and the deserts and the oceans eagerly waiting for you. Go with joy and strength and conviction and with everything you have. Go with gratitude. Gratitude for the momentous and the mundane. Gratitude for each passing moment reminding you that you are alive and running headlong together into the wild and beautiful unknown. The folded cranes that adorn the entryway are symbols of peace, love, and joy during difficult times. Maddie, for 10 years, I have watched you continuously and thoughtfully engage in creative and physical act of remembrance to help you process your sorrow and to keep your loved ones close. Okay, sorry. <laughs> but your daddy is not here. It's simply tragic. This week, Maddie, I've watched you hold two feelings simultaneously. Deep sorrow and pure joy. May 2018 was the last time our family gathered here in Durango when Maddie graduated from Fort Lewis College. Joe was really sick, and he wanted to have family rings made for us. So while we were at the jewelers downtown, Zach took us aside, and he told us of his plan to ask Maddie to marry him someday. That you chose that moment to tell a father, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that you're interesting to choose that moment to share your intentions with us, Re brought reassurance, and comfort to a father who knew that in all likelihood he wasn't going to be here. You did that not for yourself, you did that for him, proving once again that your default setting is to be kind. You see, Joe is the parent 
who paid attention to the subtle emotional undercurrent in Maddie's life. He saw her, he paid attention to her, and he was present for her. He spent a lot of time with the two of you, and he observed that, Zach, you see Maddie, that you pay attention to her, and that you are present. Zach and Maddie will now recite their vows. Zach, you're the kindest human I have ever met. Your kindness makes me feel safe, seen, and heard. I read somewhere that the biggest gift that you can give to another human is to give them a space where they feel valued, loved, and protected simply by being yourself. You fill a room with kindness and strength. People feel valued and loved simply because of the way that you are. I wish that my dad could see us today. Maybe he can't. <laughs> I hope with all my heart that he can, because I know that he would be so proud of us. <laughs> we both feel the pain of not having him here. I think that a lot of people here feel the void his absence has left. I'll be forever grateful that you knew him before he was sick, but also that you were there for his final days. Zach, he loved you so much. <laughs> and in the end, you gave my dad the ultimate comfort that his daughter would be cared for, protected, and loved. He saw without a doubt how much you loved me. Through this heartache and all the others, Zach, you are the place I stand on the day that my feet are sore. Whenever I feel overwhelmed, I look for you, and I know that you look for me too. You are my protector without being my savior. I get to be the hero of my own story. I walk my own path. You are often there walking with me, but we experience life as individuals. And on the day when I'm too tired and broken to hold myself up, you're always there. So here are my vows. <laughs> that was the intro. <laughs> I vow to love you for who you are, not an expectation of who I thought you would be or what I want you to be. Most days, this is as easy as breathing. I think in part because I loved you long before we ever started dating. This love was different than it is today. We were best friends then and not life partners but it is it is the safety net we carry into our relationship today zach you are without a doubt my dearest friend i vow to always be your friend we have often talked about how the people we are today are not the people we will be tomorrow over the past nine years of knowing you i have fallen in love with every single version of you i vow to continue to learn who you are and to be patient and on the day that I might struggle to love a new version of you, I vow to keep learning and to find my way back. On the day you might not love a new version of me, I vow to be patient and to, and to slow down, to take the time to show you who I am and why. My favorite thing in this world is monkeying through an adventure with you. I vow to keep the adventures coming. Zach, our days have been spent gently caring for each other and the years have been filled with love. As you once said, <laughs> I hope that when we die, we can still hang out. <laughs> <laughs> One lifetime is not enough. I hope we can hang out forever. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Love, twoo, love. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> True love, Maddie. <laughs> that is what brings us together today. Joking aside, when desperately trying to put my feelings into words last week, I came across Thich Nhat Hanh's book about true love. There are four elements of true love, and when realized, this kind of love brings a deeper meaning to life. I believe that we have grown over the last eight years together to truly embody each one of these elements and that they will be the key to the rest of our lives together. The first element of true love is loving kindness. The ability to have kindness and loving towards ourselves and each other. When we first met just a few hundred feet from here, we were very different people. In many ways, we were still finding ourselves far from loving ourselves. We keep changing as people and will continue to do so, but you have helped me to love myself 
for who I am. And I believe that I've helped you to do the same. As for kindness, this has always been the foundation that we stand on. We were friends, best friends, for a year before it became more. We have never stopped being best friends. I vow to always have loving kindness for you and also myself. The second element of true love is compassion. The capacity to understand suffering and the intention to provide support. Maddie, being with you feels like home. The third element of true love is joy. Yes, joy. I've had the best times of my life with you. Mountaintops and red rocks, raft trips and dive adventures, ski slopes and bike rides, good food and better conversation. A puppy. <laughs> I vow to always soak up the little moments with you, to dance like a complete dork, to never stop telling the dad jokes that you love so much, <laughs> and to live life to the absolute fullest. The fourth element of true love is equanimity or freedom. As it turns out, I'm a pretty passionate guy. I simply would not be who I am without the freedom you have given me. We are our own individual people. Sometimes this means that we end up on different pages, <laughs> but we're always in the same book. I vow to always get back on the same page and to always make space for you as the astounding person that you are. These words, these people, this moment. It all means so much to me. I adore you, Maddie. I admire you. You are the most genuine human that I've ever met. And I truly can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. You have vowed, oh, you have vowed to be joined in marriage before this community of family and friends who will love and support you. So without further ado, you may kiss for the first time as husband and wife. Reverend Max Tulen here. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, you know, I feel like there's been a lot of nice things said here. Uh, <laughs> and, and I just need to make sure everybody is on the same page. These two are an enormous pain in the ass all the time. <laughs> but they're also very frustrating in the sense that, you know, like I was, we were on this hike yesterday and I was walking, walking up and I was like, Megan, do you have any embarrassing stories about Zach and Maddie? Like, come on, I need something, something awful that I can share in a, in a wedding toast. And there was nothing, because these two are just so consistently wonderful. <laughs> you know that I just, I just don't, 
There's no dirt. There's no dirt. In this vein, I just want to want to toast the most consistently wonderful pain in the asses of my entire life. I love these two. Cheers. Congratulations. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Zach, you're an amazing guy. And... I, Mallory is absolutely right. You default to kindness. I can think of no quality in a man better than that who's going to be marrying my niece, a woman I love more than tacos. It's true, Maddie. You've been my rock since my memory goes back. I've been fortunate enough to know what it means to be loved by you, supported by you, and to have earned your close heart and friendship over an ever-changing 22 years of life. Zach, Maddie's always been a hell of a teammate in my life, and she's only going to be an even better teammate in yours and going to work so much harder than anyone is in this whole world to be the best teammate for you. Maddie, I know you're safe and loved with Zach. Congrats. I really do love you both. I'm so happy that you're married. <laughs> Congrats. Cheers. Cheers. Um, and we just hope that you guys keep spreading your joy and your love to everyone around you and start it right here um, in Colorado. So thank you so much. Let's raise a glass. This one, this one's to the eternal love between Maddie and Zach. Thank you, guys. After spending time with Zach this week, I know that you are a perfect fit for Maddie for years and years to come. I hope you two find happiness forever. I love you both with all my heart. Maddie and Zach, I am so grateful to you and know that you also provide safe spaces for each other to develop, grow, and face scary shit just as you have provided that space for me. So cheers to the fearless yet grounded future I know you will build together. I love you so much. I think there's a reason why there's so many uh, authentic and genuine people here tonight, and that's because of these two. Um, you guys are able to bring in these amazing uh people into our lives and uh and you know maddie and i actually had this plan that if maddie and i didn't get married you know separately by the time we were 40 we were gonna marry each other and so actually there's no one that i would rather pass this ring off to that could have been mine than to you zach <laughs> Zach is the definition of kind. He can hold sorrow and joy and never let you forget the joy. Even though I kind of thought there would never be anybody good enough for Maddie and that we would end up together because nobody's good enough for Maddie, so I'm a good backup plan. I'm so glad that you are in Maddie's life and I wish you two a lifetime of joy and I, yeah, don't be strangers because... I'm happy to be a part of your relationship. <laughs> I just want to say that all of you people mean the absolute world to Maddie and I. We wouldn't be here without all of you. We will continue to look to you for everything that you are. And so, I'd just like to raise a glass to all of you, because I love you so much, we love you so much, well, let's party. <laughs>
Between our love If I'm telling the truth